What's up, everybody? Matt Nazo. We're here at Rail today to talk to you about the new line of Freedom foil boards. Freedom has gone out and made a production line of boards that comes complete with deck pads, higher quality construction, higher durability. Not going to get that quite lightweight custom uh, performance that you've been having out of Freedom, but the customs are still available from Freedom and through Real Water Sports if you choose to go that direction. The production boards will be a little stronger, a little heavier, have a little bit more of an affordable price for what you're getting. So I just want to do a quick overview of the line and show you all the boards that are, that are coming out. First, we have the wing nut. This is their wing board. Comes in a variety of sizes, more towards the, uh, the performance end of the spectrum. Um, this is a really stable board for its size, and they're trying to pack a, as much foam into a tiny board as possible. And that's really what they're trying to do at Freedom to give you a really short, short board for winging. Next is the Techno, which you know and love. Um, this is one of their most popular boards. Awesome, great user-friendly, just board, just anyone can ride it. Also really advanced too. I've, you know, I really enjoy this board. I'm not an advanced rider, but for kind of like intermediate, uh, you know, riding and progressing, if you want to get a board to start on that you're not going to grow out of, this is going to be an amazing board for you. One of the key features that they've done here is this is an optional pad. So the deck pad comes stuck on with the exception of this section here. This section here, well, you, you'll get two sections of foam you can put on there flat or you can get the pump bump like we have down here on the whip. So it'll give you both of them and you can choose to stick that piece on whichever you'd like. We put the flat ones on just because a lot of different people are going to be riding these and the pump bump's a little bit more specific to more intermediate or advanced riders that know where their feet want to go. Next board in the line is board you know and love is Rubik's. This one does come with inserts and um, this is a great, great all around higher performance board at a higher volume. So people like this board that want to have a higher volume board, um, but still have a narrower tail. And it's got all that scallop out on the bottom here. You know, this, this cutouts here just really um, allows for steeper takeoffs. You're not going to get quite the glide into waves like you are with the Techno, um, but you are going to get a, a better, uh, t steeper wave takeoff. And this is going to be a great board for a small wing board as well, because it has inserts. Uh, it has higher volume, which you kind of, it's kind of nice for those deep water, deep water starts or even going to a knee start. New board in the lineup, which has been highly anticipated, is the Fusion. This is going to be a thinner, lighter volume, a little longer length board. Uh, also has a narrower tail on it, so this board is just absolutely amazing. It is designed for a little more performance riding because of that narrower tail. You will get into waves quite easily with this board, I found, um, but the narrower tail is going to not get hung up on turns, and it's just a really amazing all-around board. does come with inserts as well, so people are using this as a crossover board for uh, winging or for um, you know strap uh, foil surfing or wake surfing, and the thinner design is going to give you a more performance feel because you're closer to that foil. Uh, the final one in the, the surf foil uh, lineup is the Foil the World the FTW. This one was designed with Brian Finch uh, from Foil the World. He's an absolute ripper. Uh, this comes in two sizes, does have inserts. Uh, they designed this board specific to his spec, including the pink. We've got to love it when they make a pink. So got the Foil the World marking here. Um, this one doesn't have the opportunity for the pump bump. He just went full flat. He has an arch in the back, so he customized his, uh, his pad. Uh, one of the really unique things this one, it's got really hard edges off the tail. So these hard edges off the tail are going to give you a really clean water release and, uh, and easy takeoff. And he really likes this for banging the white water. Um, not something I'm doing much of, but it, you know, that board can, uh, it is going to be a thinner, higher performance board um, and really designed for kind of taking things to the, the top level. Final board in the lineup is the Whip. This has been known in the custom range um, as a go-to tow foil, wake foil, and uh, kite foil board. Uh, comes in one size, it's a 3.7. The thing is so much fun. I love the whip. I'm so psyched they made it in production. Um, production is, you know, has the inserts in it. Um, it's gonna be a touch heavier than the, uh, than the customs, um, but I don't really mind the weight in the board this size, because, you know, if you're flying down a wave face or something, have a little bit more weight is great it, uh, for control, and it does give you a lot of performance. Um, so this whip is just, uh, you know, so far up that they made these things in the production setup. So we'll have a full review of, the, of all the boards as we get out there and test them more and, and get some more miles on them, get some more footage. We want to do a quick line overview. If you have any questions about these boards, we're going to be getting these boards in throughout the course of the fall. You can give us a call to shop 252-987-6000 or reach out online, realwatersports.com. See you guys on the water.